Welcome back, everyone, to this uh, Padre Pepe series of reflections. Last week we began with the, and talking about Lent, which was, began this past uh, uh, Wednesday, Ash Wednesday. Today I'd like to continue to reflect and talk a little bit about fasting. And I'd like to share an experience that I had years ago with a Christian-based community, a faith community, which I formed in our new parish in Santiago, Chile. We were thinking about what we we're going to do for Lent, and we decided, well, uh, fasting is part of Lent. Why don't we do something together? Why don't we coordinate a type of fast? So we decided that on a particular day of the week, we were always going to fast completely, not just for a while, not just giving up a dessert or something, but we would fast for 24 hours, and we would not eat anything other than some bread and water. So we did that, and at the end of that 24-hour period, we came together, we prayed over the experience, and we shared our impressions. And one of the things um, we became aware of and we all shared together was just um, what a person who experiences hunger really feels. Now, we just felt it for 24 hours, but we tried to put ourselves into the shoes of that other person what it must feel like to de be deprived of food, not just 24 hours, but almost every day. And so it helped us to grow in solidarity and awareness of the needs of our neighbor. So for us then, that Lent became not just a personal matter between God and myself, but between God, myself, and others. We grew in a sense of solidarity. So I invite you uh, to reflect uh, these days as you consider what you're doing for Lent. If you're doing any kind of fasting, ask yourself, how am I growing in awareness to others? How can I reach out to another person in their need, in their hunger or in their need of housing or clothing or whatever? You might want to reflect upon the passage of St. Matthew 25, chapter 25, when I was hungry, you gave me to eat. When I was naked, you gave me the clothing. And they asked, well, when was that? Whatever you did for the least of my brethren, you did to me. So may this land help us all to grow, not only in our relationship with God, but also our awareness of the needs and to grow in solidarity with our neighbor. God bless you.